Hey, I'm Raiden. I'm going to go through Norman's animatronics with you to show you exactly how they work now. Uh, he is set up on three different controller systems. Two of those are auto run systems, which are these two units right here. They work like a four track recorder where you plug the servos in. Each knob is a pot that can control the servo. And then there's a board inside which will uh, let you record a two minute loop of the movements that you input into these. So we've already set up his movements. One of these controls his tongue and brows. The other one controls his eyeball and uh, upper eyelid and lower eyelid movements. The final controller is uh, just a four channel RC transmitter, which controls his mouth. This allows the puppeteer to control uh, the most crucial element of this puppet in real time while the others can all just be ran on a loop, which makes him a one-person puppet. So, let's plug these guys in. This is going to be his tongue and brows. Start that up. Now those are running on a loop. The next one is going to be his eyeball movement. So now his eyes are moving on the loop. The final one is his RC transmitter. We'll power this on. And now we have his mouth movement. Now in the video he doesn't have a lot of upper lip motion and that's because he's got a real creepy smile which you may have never seen before and I'm going to debut that for you right now. He's still working on that one. All right. Now the other things I didn't point out before is the rest of his body has been repaired. Uh, we didn't go through and refill with new foam, instead we took what was there and we repaired it. So all of the torn foam has been reattached and then the hinges that were in his wrist have all been fixed and reworked. So his body is back to uh, good condition and nothing's been uh, refilled so it's 100% original. The only thing that's been replaced is the space skin, which if you followed the build at all was just, there was nothing left. Um, the animatronics were originally built by Mark Satrakian, uh, which is one of the greatest animatronic designers and builders of our time. Uh, he works out of Spectrum Motion. This would have been one of his earlier builds since he was built in 2004. Um, at the time, they were using 3D printed parts, which is really rare because 3D printed parts weren't really available uh, to do. That wasn't a method that was often used. Um, so it's pretty cool to see. Unfortunately, all the time that's passed, all of those parts had completely just disintegrated. So what was left was uh, just crumbs and it had been hot glued together. So all of that had to be replaced. Luckily there was enough there that uh, I was able to remodel everything to be exactly the same as how Mark had designed it. So all of his animatronics look exactly identical inside, uh, just with more modern servos. So he has all of the same functions that he did in the original video. That's it.